What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Dame on Never Been a Lame O. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. This is Jay Willard, the podcast killer man. We are back once again, and we got a new topic to talk about, some new shit that just, what is Bari doing? <laughs> <laughs> yo, you guys, why are you being so weird? <laughs> why are you being weird to me? <laughs> nah, but listen, man, we, we are back. We have a, a to me, it's it's a, it's a habitual line stepper. Oh, I love he's, it. He's a habitual line crosser. Oh, but we got Diddy, Bow Wow, Diddy dating somebody else's baby moms, mm. Diddy 50 something, mm. Jody just turned 30 something, mm. and we, we back at it again, man. So we here again. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, so I guess I, it, let me let me run, run off the facts. Um, Bow Wow, baby moms. I, I can't. I, is it Joy? Joy? Joy Chavez? Chavez? I think it's J J J D or Joy. One of them. Joy, 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 Joy. We get a Joy badass, the female version. Um, Go ahead. Y'all know me. I don't be knowing people names and shit. I don't. Female Joy badass. We got it. There you Go ahead. cool. So, I mean, they got a baby together, um, mm -hmm. her and Bow Wow. She also got a baby with Future. That's Hendrix's baby mom. I mean, that's Hendrix's mother, sorry. Damn, uh, every other city we go. So, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, she, you know, she, she, she's doing her thing. You know, she, she's making her rounds. She's doing her thing. She's securing her bag for life. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. I mean. That's a crazy career. We have Diddy, though. Uh-huh. So, uh, 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 Bow Wow, I think it was on WGCI, matter of fact. It was just yeah, like, yeah. Cool. So, he's in Chicago or on the Chicago show. And, you know, I guess they're talking about it. And he's like, him and Diddy had a, a conversation for about an hour and 15 minutes. Wow. Discussing, you know, the terms and the, you know what I mean? The, the ins and outs of the relationship that is taking place. That's crazy. I mean, I wanted to just bring it to y'all, brothers. Like, how we feel about this? Like, is is I mean, can, can you talk to your 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 is is Diddy and Bow Wow mans? Like, do you consider them mans? That's the thing. I, That's the number one question you got to ask first. Are, are they, they, are they, are they mans, mans, mans? Yeah, like, I mean, I would I assume mean, just being in the industry cool. for so long together. You know, I'm pretty sure Bow Wow really is cool be, with pretty much everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think niggas be friends for real. Niggas be cool. They don't be friends. Niggas be like, oh, what is, what's good, bro? Dab each other up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I yeah, like the song you just did, but that doesn't make y'all friends. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's me. And remember, a lot of them niggas, they party together just for work. It don't be necessarily they party together to party together for real. You know right. What I'm um, and they two different age brackets. And, and type of people anyway. Oh, they, they father and son, easily. Yeah, because Bow Wow gotta yeah. be 32, 33? Bow Wow in his 30s, he in his yeah. 30s. Maybe mid 30, he might be like 35, low key, like mid 30s. Did he in his 50s? Yeah, did he about 55. Word up. Well, I don't think he's 55, I think he's like 51 or 52. Him and Hope yeah. around the same age. At yeah. the fifty, yeah, man. At the fifty years old. Yeah. Oh damn, <laughs> word. <laughs> At the fifty, you just ancient. Okay. No, it's just you just fifty. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... yeah, I, mean, I, I get it. You're I... not deciphering. Oh well, technically fifty-seven, fifty-three. No, okay. So, so I, I guess my question to the panel, my question to y'all is: mm -hmm. Is it okay to talk to an acquaintance's baby moms, baby fathers? Like, and I'm saying that to be very specific. It, mm -hmm. It's not just a boyfriend girlfriend situation, but it's someone who had a child with somebody that you are acquainted with. Hmm. Is it okay for you to be like, all right, fuck that? Right, y'all right. shit done. It's my turn. Let me step in. I mean, let me do what I gotta do. I mean, in my opinion, now now that I'm older, um, a lot of people have kids. You know, it just is what it is. Once you pass thirty, once you thirty two and up. Everybody got kids. It, it just so happened that you may know this person's baby mama, baby daddy, but for everybody got kids. It, you know, that ain't nothing. I do feel like you have the right to date who you want to. Um, now, but on the other hand, 
Diddy be just like, man, yeah. Um, he's a habitual like, line stuff. Habitual line stuff. It's like it's like if you have a baby mom, Diddy coming to get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bruh, relax. So, no. Okay, so is, is, is that a flex? Is that a flex for Diddy or is that a flex for Joy? I, I keep. I feel like I'm butchering her name. I'm sorry. Is it Joy? Joy. I'm saying Joy. Joy. Is that a flex, is that a flex for Joy or a flex for Diddy? Like, what's going on here? I mean, I don't even think any. It's nothing to speak towards her because she's just who she is. She can date whoever she feel like dating at this point. Nobody's gonna judge the lady for who she wants to date. I think it's more so on the choice of who he is. He knows specifically, hey, this is Future's baby moms and right. Bow Wow's baby moms. You know what I'm saying? So, and at this point, I think yeah, where Diddy's at, he don't even care. I, I personally feel like he don't even care at this point. He's just like, you know what, fuck it. You look good. You in my, my radar right now. You, I want to deal with who I want to deal with. And it is what it is. Because a couple weeks ago, he was cold with Young Miami. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's I, like... I, I personally think that that this is the midlife crisis that we we've all been told about. But is it midlife? It ain't never been no another way for Diddy though. Nah, bro, this is a midlife. Remember, crisis. he would no, because remember the, the 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 lady he had the God rest the dead. I forgot her name. Kim she Porter. His, Kim, Kim Porter. Porter. Yeah, she passed, and he was distraught over it. I remember he was with Cassie for about. How many but, years? They was the same age. When I say midlife crisis, I'm saying that men in their midlife, they come into this time where it's like, fuck it, let me get that motorcycle I always wanted. Let me try and look younger. Let me dress younger. Like, they do weird shit. But he, I don't think... He's now dating people 30 years younger than him on some weird shit. That's not weird to y'all? Um, Habitually. As a, person, <laughs> as a person that's getting older, I understand it. Um, it would seem weird to me. Like if I was thirty, that would be weird to me. But I'm getting closer to forty, so at this point, I can understand how. Dame, like, I've, I've, had, I've had I've had too many conversations with you to know for a fact you're not talking to a twenty one year old. No, but you don't do it when she's twenty one. You talk to her when you're fifty and she's thirty. That's the difference. Because you're talking to a thirty year old at that point. Mm. I mean, I. I my brain could, my brain could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can, I can break down what you're saying and I get it. it yeah. It, it, it's just, it's still, to me, it's giving midlife crisis. I, I've i seen it so much because that's how my dad was. My dad liked younger women um, over 18. <laughs> no R. Kelly shit. We, we know how but, you Chicagoans get down. Um, huh. No, he, he from, he's from, he's from Arkansas. Relax. That's Southern. Now that's Southern. Oh, he Arkansas. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no, no. But he always liked women right in between twenty one and twenty five, like his whole life, and it never changed. So the older he got, it looks more creepier. But you know, and shit. When he, my dad passed, he was seventy uh, three. His girlfriend was forty three. That's crazy. At the time, so. He loved younger women. Like that's just what he liked. He liked women from a certain that's age. That was it. I mean, is it, it normal to it me? Toward, does it speak more towards him liking the physical, the physical attributes of it? Just being no. He's just like younger? I want an old ass pussy. But that's what I'm saying. You want to fuck some new pussy? Real easy. You want to fuck some new pussy? You want to see some fresh new pussy? You don't want to be around. Just like, I don't like no old ass pussy. You know what I'm saying so. I mean, but at the same time, how fresh can forty year old box be? Let's be honest. But if you fresh 70? Fresh <laughs> seventy, I, I, I get it. I get it. I you get it. seventy, bro. Like, 70. like, all right. <laughs> Yo, it is fresher than seventy. This is a terrible you know conversation. Just, it is fresher than seventy. It, yeah, you know and, and apparently he's still fucking. So that's. I do. I do but have. It could, wait, wait. It could be also legitimately. It could be a control thing as well. You know what I'm saying? It could, in that aspect of yo, me yeah. being fifty, I could tell a twenty-something year old or a thirty-year-old, yo, especially him being who he is. He's Diddy. He's a oh, yeah. pretty much yeah, a billionaire now. No, Diddy, yo, Diddy, check this out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, check fault. this out. No, we doing this. We not doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whereas a woman of a certain age or uh, knows herself better, she'll be like, no, I'm not dealing with that. Right, it'll be some type of pushback or some things. You know what I'm saying? Right, hundred percent. I, I, I think I think 
two things of this whole situation. Mm-hmm. One thing I think, <laughs> him losing Kim Porter, yeah, fucked them up. Mm-hmm. He he has not yeah. he's he has not been able to recover from that loss. Mm-hmm. That's one. You, you lose the love of your life. life. I mean, so and that was a woman around his age. You know what I'm saying? So that's one, right? So that's that's one thing I think. The other thing that I'm thinking is I think I'm thinking. These niggas is weird to me, bro. Like oh no, yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, oh yeah. Of course, all right. the beautiful women in the world, they yeah, they I wanna share them. Lose the same 10. It's like it's, it's a time. handful of women that they just pick from and they just yes. pass them around. It's like so there's you, no other beautiful women out there. Yeah. But you want to know what's crazy? Else look good. That's weird. You, you, that, you that's know, weird as shit to that's me. Weird. Um, well, no. What's crazy is you learn this even from watching Love and Hip Hop. But um, being in the industry, you start to see that it's it's really the same people in the same places. Like you go to a party, it's the same people, bro. It's, it's like being in high school. You know, if it's a if it's a ball tonight or here, if it's a game there, it's a whatever here, you're gonna see the same chili the girl that they gonna see. You they come to school and go with a it's ball. really the same fucking people over and over again. You just I heard said him, Jason. ball, you old ass nigga. What I said? said a ball. Ball. You said a ball. I meant, to say, I meant to say the dance, but my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never went to a ball. I <laughs> I've never been to a ball a day in my life. But but no, but seriously though, it's the same fucking people, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you dance to the ball. See that? That's how you dance to the ball. <laughs> With the You're like, put your hands up. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, but listen, but, but, you, these niggas is weird, bro. Like, there's, there's more beautiful women in the world than these six that keep getting and past. What makes it, like, it's and, crazy. and what makes it crazier to me, right? It makes me think that these niggas be talking about the shit that they be doing with these women. And then now it's like, I say to Willa, yo. These niggas be like, yo, bro, my girl, she sucked my dick crazy last night. Da, da, da. So now you got Diddy and Future thinking like, hmm, I wonder what that's like. Now, after Bow Wow's done, I don't know who was first, but I'm just saying, hypothetically, Bow Wow's done with her. They have a kid together. Shorty right, hop on. Cool. He hop on the shorty now. Cool. He got a kid with her. But my, okay. Same but- thing. I'm, I'm, Which is no. weird as fuck to me, bro. No, I'm not going. I'm not going how that's weird. Is there any is- such thing as the baby mother hall of fame? Because if she got a kid by future, a kid by Bow Wow, and then a kid by Diddy, imagine. No, if right. she gets a kid by Diddy, is she like the baby mother hall of fame? Like who else is up there with her? Uh, In terms of BN, uh, I don't know because I don't. Maybe, I don't follow girls' kids like Black that. Chi- oh. Maybe Black China. Black China got a Kardashian and Tiger. And Tiger. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's 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 admirable. <laughs> I listen. I mean, I, a Kim K. Uh, Kim K. She got she got three for Kanye West. You know what I'm I mean, but no, but they was married, so they was married. Yeah, they they, they tried. Uh, they tried to do it right. That's different. They they try, uh, they they tried to do it the right way. I respect yeah. that. I'm just talking about straight got knocked up, and you. Yo, she's about to be in the BM Hall of Fame. Baby mother Hall of Fame. Well, it ain't the Diddy. Diddy probably can't even make it more. You, you say you, that now. You tripping. 50? Say that now. Bro, 50? Yes, he can. Hey, man. Yes, he Remember, can. Remember, niggas, from what I heard, niggas can keep shooting the club till 70, 80. Yes, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Easily. Yeah. I was born when uh, my dad was 45, and I got a little sister and a little brother. Exactly. So, it's definitely true. Listen, listen. She's yeah, about to, she's about to be in the DM Hall of Fame. I'm going to say it now. Wow. Listen, she, like she, I said, it's nothing DM against Hall her. She can, date who, she can date who she dates, right? Because if these men are pursuing her and she actually likes these, like these men at the time when she's dating them, you like who you like. You fuck with who you want to fuck with. Yeah. It's just that, like Willa said, these niggas. I, I think it's more than that. Now I feel these, like it's a sport. I, I, I think it's no. I think well, first, I personally feel like the women know that it's a come up as well. Of course. Of course. Come on. Say, not, come, come, on, on right, come on now. Come on no, now. Because, because how you're painting it just now is it's the men. These niggas is weird, which they are. They are weird to me. I think they're weird. We, we can't say that these women are not predators and they, they don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. You know, why, why, 
why I'm saying that is because I'm not a woman, and so I can't I can't fully think about or try to think about the the, the, the thought process of how a woman would think in that situation. Because mm-hmm. my brain my brain would hurt. I sort of got I feel like my brain would hurt trying to think like a woman. So I don't even try to play myself. But as niggas, them niggas to me, I feel like it's kind of corny because I. I don't see no 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 thrill in sharing a sharing a, a a relationship with a woman that every other guy has had that I know. Now everybody also, has a past. Go ahead, my fault. But okay. everybody has a past. But you know what I'm saying? There's some there's some 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 dopeness or some some. I forgot. There's a word that I can't find, but it's something about having finding a woman that's outside of everything. Like growing up in New York, you always wanted to fuck with a chick from Queens. Why? Because chicks from Queens. Don't be in the mix. They don't be at no parties. Right. They don't right. go nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? Never fuck with a chick from the Brooklyn, Harlem, or the Bronx. But I think, I hear I you, think Willa. That, um, Willa, what you said? In the industry, I think certain women have a sort of uh, status attached to them. Um, just, just beautiful women, you know, but it's, it's almost like the same way how we go through IG pictures and be like, man, I wish I could. Oh, man. Oh, this one. Oh, imagine if you could get that one. And imagine if you're not the only guy saying that, you know? So because you're not the only guy saying that, it's hundreds of thousands of guys that would like to get with, I'm a, I don't know, I can't think of nobody. Lori Harvey, fuck it. She's gorgeous. But she's also an upper echelon tier woman. woman. So what is she? Well, no, but this one, I'm, mm-hmm. I, I'm, what I'm saying is from the way it mm-hmm. looks, the, the optics of it is, it's like, yo, you got to be, Pretty much, you got to be the shit to fuck with Lori Hart. You know what I'm saying? No, so, you, no, you just have to have money. Well, no, but you got to have money, maybe money, but some sort of status or something. You got to be yeah, not, a, not, you know not, not one regular even, nigga. Has, not, even being her in not her one regular present, nigga has gotten it. You know what I'm saying? And so what happens is the same way I mean, that you look at your huh? but it's gonna stay that way. Now Willis said that we know of, and I said no regular nigga has that. Got it. That we know of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always looked at Megan oh, Good oh, like that. Like, Megan Good to me is like, yo, being her presence, you know what I'm saying, would be amazing. I grew up with this girl. You know, mm-hmm. it would be lovely, you know? But so is the rest of the world. <laughs> so, yeah. so every dude is like, yo, Megan Good. Like, we grew up with, you know what I'm saying? So when you finally get opportunity, you like, what? And she's going? What? Nigga, you know how excited I would be to be like, hey, I mean, Man, I, I, I get that. I you know what I'm saying? So, but you wouldn't. Would you, niggas would feel like that. But would you chase that and be in that circle repeatedly? Like, oh shit, I'm gonna get Megan Good, then I'm gonna get Christina Milian, then I'm gonna get Lori Harvey, then I'm gonna get like that. That's what you're gonna do. No, Maybe but I that's understand. Type of tip, what I'm saying is, I understand the type of woman you like. if you get if you get to the point where that's an option, <laughs> like that's what you I'm like, saying. Yo, if you, bro, if let's just say bro, let's say you single. Say, Let's say you single and it worked. You got on. You Jay Willard. In your phone right now is Lori, Megan, Christina Milian, and they all like, "What's up?" You gonna no, be like, okay, "Got okay. it, guys." No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and maybe this is where I differ. Okay. If I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit. These niggas is wife in these joints. Having babies, but you gotta, and, I mean, and, 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 having gotta and, and 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 the reason why we know about this whole Diddy situation is because they was in Italy on a vacation, on vacation right? Together. Kissing and booed up and rubbing up. Right. I'm not doing none of that. If I'm just trying to crack, then I'm gonna crack, and that's that. Right. But you want to know what's crazy, Willis? What you gotta win on a vacation? You- a vacation. Fair enough. But you <laughs> gotta also understand, right? I'm wait, not wait, doing that. Wait, you gotta also understand, and I and, and I learned this today. It's crazy. Today, what some niggas may deem as a uh, bullshit no, today, for real, will deem as a bullshit McDonald's meal. Could be their equivalent. Could be going on a trip to Italy because they just have that kind of bread. Mm. You feel me? I mean, that's real. They, that's so real. because they because they have so much access to shit. Them going to Applebee's for a two for twenty just to catch up to to see what if we like one another. Right. That could be them catching a the flight. Yo, come meet me in LA. We go have a conversation. As a matter of fact, that that makes so much sense. And in right. my head, in my head, literally, what I heard you say was stop counting people pockets, you broke ass nigga. And that makes sense to me. Cause guess what? 
I used to think yeah, the same that way. Makes that makes sense to me. I'm going to I'm gonna stop the whole conversation now because that makes sense to me. Diddy, yeah. Diddy got today. so much money that going to Italy could be like going to McDonald's. I get it. Right. Get right. It. He's like, hey, what you doing? She's like, oh, hey, Diddy, yo, you want to go to Italy tomorrow? Okay. Like, yeah, you're right. So I'm, I'm going right. to shut the fuck right. up. And that's not, and that's not, and I'm not talking about, they're not flying commercial neither. That's, that's right. It. They, they they doing that something called on the private jet. You got it. You got it. I get it. That, that's so, date number one. And I thought, and I thought, and I the way I thought, <laughs> that's mind, I'm like, oh niggas is out here tricking. Da, da, da. No, no, it bro. That nigga is legit. It's, it's like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now in a, it's different when you don't got it and you doing dumb shit to outside of your element. Right. But if you are a legit a nigga of that stature, bro, it's a different type of ball game we talking about, bro. We talk about niggas who making bread that we want to touch and women who are dealing with niggas who touch that kind of bread on a regular. Mm. Two different two different conversations we having, bro. Yeah, the one that we having and the one that Jake, we can't hear Jay talking to him. My bad, I, I keep muting myself. <laughs> <laughs> two different conversations, nigga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, like, it's two different things. Like- and unfortunately, and we be trying to tell, we be trying to tell women that be dealing with upper echelon niggas oh now nah, you a nigga shouldn't have to blow the bag on her he's technically not blowing the bag on her bro he's just doing shit on the level of what they used to you he know what yo bracket he can do that yeah exactly. yo exactly but but i encourage that and to be honest if you had it if, if we all had it we all would that's just what it is um i just don't encourage the women to put that on regular ass women that <laughs> Work at goddamn AT and T, and nobody blowing the bag on you, sis. No, like, no, but you gotta work with it. Listen, I heard no, somebody no. say once, work within your bracket. That's work it. Work within your tax bracket, sis. I understand yeah. you want an upper echelon nigga, but if you have never gotten an upper echelon nigga, you can't now demand a nigga. Well, if you ain't upper echelon yourself, or if you not uh, even upper echelon. Okay, oh, okay, 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 nope. okay. Wait, 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 wait. You getting okay. back to women bashing? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna. Uh-uh. Say that. I just want to introduce a new idea to the fold. Okay. You're now talking to your daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't say, listen, baby, you're not upper echelon. So you got to stay with you. <laughs> no, you can't do that, bro. You're not going to do that to your daughter, bro. You're not. You're not. We already had this conversation last week bro, you you're, don't, or two weeks ago. You you're don't not, remember. You're not going to sit here and tell your daughter. daughter. You're I'm not. going to meet my daughter where she is. If she is the shit as a bank account, you are the shit as a bank account. If you are a porn star, we talked about that last week, and you are the head of your class, I will be proud of that. But if you do something that's not what you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to think of something off the top of my head without dissing anybody. If you mop, mopping floors at Burger King, right? I'm not going to be like, you are the best. No, sis, you mopping floors at Burger King. So if this is what you want to do, well, then be the best goddamn mopper ever. But if you're I trying agree. to do something else... And be, no, I'm gonna talk shit about you because you fucking my before as a Burger King. What? What? Wait, oh, wait, yeah. not, so, but no, wait, so, but wait. No, 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 no. But, so just, but just wait, just, it's a just, different conversation. Mopping. That's a different conversation. I'm saying that. Different different I'm not trying to talk about a job. No, I'm, I don't no, want to no, 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 make it. I don't want to make it about the position. Oh, hello, I'm not talking about the job either. I'm talking okay, about. Yeah, I, okay. I'm talking about a mentality, an ideology. So that's because you're mopping floors, and that could be anything. In yeah. air quotes, it could right. be anything, right? right? Just because you're wanna, you're yeah. on the lower end of the totem pole, you can't aspire right. for more. Yeah, no, no, and, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, you, you're not going to tell your daughter not to aspire. For, you're not going to say, "Well, you you're mopping floors, so your husband got to be a janitor." You're not going to. You do what I said, Barry. Wait, can I, I? I feel like I can clean it up. Okay. Right? So I agree with Dame. Be the best at what you're doing for the at the present point in time, right? Different conversation. Ooh. But it is, we're alluding to the conversation we were having before. But what I'm saying is, I'm you're meet dating. You. I'm gonna meet, meet you where, you where you're, at. you're at. What he's pretty much saying, hey, if this is what you're doing right now, you should always want better for yourself. But at the same time, right. you can't expect the nigga who's at the same level as you to give you what Diddy's doing for Shorty, flying to Italy on the first day. No, or but buying but her I, Birkin or I, Louis I, bag. I get that, but I feel like that's what he's saying. No, I, I, but I feel like both of you guys are moving the goalposts because I'm not saying what you should expect or not. I'm just saying if your daughter is a mopping oh, a floor, uh-huh. 
And she's like, well, listen, I'm up on the floor now, but I aspire to be great. I blah, blah, whatever the case. Oh, no, be, be great. You're not, Absolutely. You're, Absolutely. you're not gonna say, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, baby. You mop the oh, floor. Never. You, you gotta that, no, 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 that's not what he's saying. That's not what I was saying. That's not what I was saying. Yeah, no, I wasn't saying that. That's not what he's saying. That's not what I was saying. You misunderstood that you misunderstood what he was saying. That's not what he was saying. He was saying, yo, yo, no, if this is what you're doing right now, cool. This is what you're doing right now. Be the best at what you can do right now. Don't sit that's fine, yeah. Don't sit here and make it seem like this. But if you're sitting here in McDonald's just mopping floors, don't make it seem like you're better than everybody else. You just shit for mopping floors at McDonald's when you could be doing better than mopping floors at McDonald's. I mean, but you could be. Right. Could be. So, so could be. Think of, just, let's just keep it you there. You literally said it. You could be doing any goddamn thing. No, no, no. What, what Bari, what Bari just said was, "This is what you're doing now. Don't act like you you're, you're better than anybody do because you're doing this, right? That's what you just said. Humility, yeah. I feel like you're twisting my words. I feel like I'm in court. No, I, I'm I'm literally listening to Bari right now. I, I didn't even mention you. You don't know what you're twisting yeah. there. You're twisting yeah. there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I, I I don't know where we're going. I don't know where. Yeah. Going. I just but once again. I just yeah, feel yeah. Wait, wait, I, I just feel like if I'm talking to my daughter and mm. my daughter is not a Lori Harvey because she doesn't have the celebrity and blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna say, yeah. well, don't aspire to get the best man that you could possibly get. No, you get who's that. on your fucking tax bracket. No, 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 no. That was never that was that wasn't my point. My okay. point, my point is just there's a, there's, a, there's a reality. Let's clear that up. There's a reality, and I think that a lot of people we love to live in fantasy. Mm. Um we all aspire to be better, period. That's that's life, aspire. But at at some point, the reality has to, you know, this is this is where you are. Like, <laughs> quit talking to me about next week, my niggas, today. But people speak as if that tomorrow has happened. Mm -hmm. and it hasn't yet. Mm -hmm. And so that's the part that I'm talking about. It's, you know? it's, 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 it's just tough because, Dame, I personally know your life. Right and, and right and I am inspiring. So, but what I'm saying is, let's say you was dealing with a woman and she's like, "No, fuck out of here. You're not right. on." But you're like, "Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I'm doing mad shit, and I have a lot of things in place to be on." But you're not on. Fuck out of here. Like, like it's it, it's kind she's of not, she. But at the same time, you have I'm to look at it. Before. No, she she's not she's not wrong. But Dane will be right on this show cussing her out. No, he. Would. Oh yes, oh, you oh, have oh, a right. <laughs> You're gonna it's feel away. I think you I, had the right. The same was gonna make you feel good. <laughs> it's <laughs> why that's crazy to me. Like it's crazy that Dame's even saying that because they know his own struggle. As an no, artist, we all know but that. That's, but that's also uh, the reason why everybody like, yo, Dame, get a girlfriend, get a woman, get a this. And I'm like, no, no, relax, no, no. I'm cool. I'm chilling because I'm building. I'm working on the shit I'm trying to work on. Mm. Versus, I don't. I don't even. I want to hear that shit every day. I told y'all before. I used to actually date a stripper. Worst relationship ever, because all she want from me is exactly the one thing I don't have, <laughs> nigga. Money, nigga. I'm the wrong guy. You know I mean, so she, she, and so she used to tell she me, "Has to be a terrible stripper because she, she's supposed to be making money." Yeah, but you know, women. But the same way, how we talk, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, how we talk. Wait, to is that the one with the? Is that the one with the walk? You told us about. I don't know. I've told a lot of stories. Dame said that she got a little limp walk. Oh, I don't know. I was probably talking shit. I don't know. I don't remember uh, that. You dated a a a, 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 a disabled stripper. A disabled stripper. Oh no, 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 that was a, <laughs> no, that was a girl. That was a girl I met off off of a dating app, and she didn't tell me that she. Yeah, she didn't tell me she. Was oh no, okay, I, okay, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we went on the damn date, and I set up a walking date, like us to walk around and do shit, and, and she couldn't walk. My fuck, like what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm we gotta messing. end this here. Anyway, man, let's get out of here, man. Yo, thank you for watching Willow Wednesdays. Like, subscribe, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, comment. Yeah, I, 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 I just gotta say, in, I gotta say, in conclusion, Diddy's still weird to me. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. He's weird. No, I agree. He is. I agree. All right, so that's the synopsis. Weird, weird, weird as right. hell. But you gotta remember, different different things for different niggas in different tax brackets. You feel me? They can do shit that we can never think about doing, so we can't talk shit about the shit that they be doing. Well, I will talk to you because damn it, that's what we do. <laughs> oh, Willow Wednesdays. <laughs> Get up out of here. Gang, 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 gang. Yo, Barry, put them shits down, bro. <laughs>
Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.